Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. It's a new, well, I was gonna say it's a new week. It's a new stream week, I guess. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Craig is today's first. Tom is today's second. Hey, Tom. And Cinder is today's third. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. And Black Hats. It's so nice to see you all. How you doing? Petition to have a week not start till Wednesday. Uh, you know what? Uh, I can't get behind that because that would mean that I never would have to work. That. <laughs> you know, just getting raided over for once. So you actually do follow me, Tom. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you actually do. You you actually do follow me. That that's that's nice to see. That's nice to see. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Tom. I'm sorry. I, I'm not. It's nice to have you here. I'll, I'm I'm glad you're here. Hey, old crow. It's a pretty. <gasps> Wait, what? Me? No. But hi, old crow. It is all the good peeps. It's all the good peeps. Seeing that your your name looks has a different color, um, depending on what monitor I'm <laughs> looking at. Uh. Well, welcome in, guys. Welcome in. I hope you have had a good week so far. And ghost, thank you for the one bit. I hope you're doing well today, Ghost. I hope you're feeling a little bit better after yesterday, too. Mm. Hope you're feeling a little bit better. But yeah, we are... We are... Well, I was going to stream yesterday. I just wasn't feeling the best. And I had to stay home from work as well because... It's been... Wait, no! Chris! What do you mean? You're live! <laughs> no, you're supposed to be streaming and, and not, not paying attention to, to, to... But happy 15 months! Holy crap! Holy crap! Go follow Chris, guys. Go follow Chris, because he is playing... He's playing... Basically his own own like a game about his own life and go do it right now. Go follow Chris. He is playing um, Is it just called just crow things? Yeah, just crow things Because you know, that's just what he does. He just does crow things <laughs> And he's a good good bean. He's a good bean Go follow go follow Chris right now. Do it do it um and thank you so much for the 15 months. I know he's probably not, not like he, he probably just popped in, resubbed and just left again. <laughs> but I appreciate it so much. And he's also my newest mod as well. Um, I hate that the colors keep changing everywhere. Yeah, it's really annoying. It is really annoying. Um, How's your day today? Migraine staying away? It did for most of the day. And then after I took my nap, I woke up with a migraine again. <laughs> because what I was going to say was these past couple of days, these past couple of days, it's been very, uh, like, uh, it's been very humid with a lot of uh, air pressure, I guess. What do you, what do you call it? And we even had a lot of thunder and lightning yesterday, so I thought that would clear it up, but apparently it's even worse today. So, that is not usually very good for my head. So, hopefully it will be fine. I have taken my meds, but I'm not feeling, like, my best. Um, so, we'll see. Hopefully it will go away, though. Hopefully it will go away. Holy crepe! Exactly! Exactly! Praise the crepes. <laughs> um, you're doing good. Been fixing your car the whole day. But do you think you're going to continue working on that tomorrow? Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty late now. For you, it's like 11 p.m. So that is understandable. Probably a good idea to wait until there's daylight again. What's thunder like? 
honestly, I wish we had more of it. Um, it was really nice, though, last night. Um, even though I had to get up early, I didn't go to bed until like 3.30 because I slept all day because of migraines <laughs> yesterday. Uh, so I wasn't tired by the time that I should have gone to bed. So it was really nice to just sit here with the window open and the pouring rain and the thunder and lightning and then going to bed listening to that with the window open as well. It was really nice. I, I love weather like that. Well, I mean, I did unplug everything though, so as long as I remember to do that, it's good. It's good. I like it. I would be terrified if anything went wrong with my <laughs> with anything PC related um, or my internet or something because of the the weather. You don't remember the last time you had a good storm? I hope you get it now then, because you know we're not that far apart. So maybe this weather will the weather we had yesterday. Maybe we'll move over to to where you are. Maybe that's the direction it's gonna go. I'm not sure. Well, we can hope. Hope meds work and you feel better. Good day for chill, cozy stream. Yeah, I don't think that I would be up for an Elden Ring stream anyway today, but this was the plan, no matter what, to play in Stars and Time because it's usually my Tuesday game, but so often these days I end up canceling my Tuesday streams. Um, I should probably cut down to like three streams per week, but... I just, I just feel bad about doing that as well. <laughs> uh, so, uh, when when I can't stream on Tuesday, I try to play this game on, on Wednesday instead. The last two streams you were waiting for to show up. Oh, but Craig, Craig did show up last time, but I think that was after you went to, to get food and everything, Black Cats. Um, so yeah, the, t the timing was not the, the best, I guess, but today, you're both here at the same time. Can swap had constant heat without any air movement or migraines, just sweat. Oh, damn. I mean, I don't want that either. <laughs> I haven't pulled out my, my fan uh, all year, but today I was so close to doing it. I was really, really close. But now I just have this window open and a different one in the in the living room so hopefully that will be enough i just don't like uh i don't like the the loud loudness of of a, of a fan that's the only reason why i don't use it if it was if it would be quiet and i couldn't hear it that would be fine but i can't stand the sound of a fan <laughs> um you love it when thunderstorms uh when at nighttime, except when it knocks the Wi-Fi out. Mm. Yeah, I try to be careful though. If, if it's fairly close to where I live, I and I can hear the thunder is really close by, I usually always unplug all the important stuff. I think you're just in in them at different times. Mm. So I have to see you back. Do you need a break? Yeah, it is nice to have black hats back. Six more subs for the Ronnie cosplay? Wait. Oh, I think it's seven. Seven. Seven more. But yes, we are pretty close. We are pretty close. So when... The, also, for those who... Like, I don't want people to, to misunderstand what this means. Because when it's new sub points, it doesn't count resubs. Which is really stupid. Uh, and this is the way uh, Twitch does things. I wish that I had a different counter for it, but if I do, it's, um, it would be... Hey! <laughs> well, now it's six more. <laughs> hey, Ghost! Thank you so much for the sub! Thank you so much! It's very kind of you. Thank you. 69. Nice. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. You're very kind. You're very sweet. But yeah, we will be doing a Ronnie cosplay when I when we hit this goal. But yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't count resubs, which is really stupid. So it only counts new subs or uh, or gifted subs. And like 
Twitch Prime because Twitch Prime isn't a continuous sub, so it has to be manually done, so it kind of counts as a new sub. So, yeah, it's really stupid, but... Hopefully, um, we will be able to align everything so that the Ronnie cosplay will happen when we finish Ronnie's questline. Because that would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of preparation because I use blue makeup and everything on my face, my arms, everything. So it's... I've done it once before. I did it on Halloween last year. And... It took a lot of preparation, <laughs> so I need it, it. needs to be it needs to be carefully planned that everything aligns, you know. But now it's six. Yeah, yeah. Now it's six. You love a good thunderstorm, except when it knows your power out. Uh, knows your power out for thirty hours. Yeah, the, knocks your. Did you mean knocks your power? Yeah, yeah. That was when you said that it was gone for thirty hours. How was? How was everything in your fridge? Did you have to throw out a bunch of stuff? Because that is terrible. Or your freezer. The creepiest thing with the Wi-Fi going out the other day, no storm, no wind. It was like 2 a.m. You went down to get a snack. You heard noises outside and the cat started hissing at the window. And as you were staying at the window, Wi-Fi cut out. You were, convinced you were about to be murdered. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I mean, sometimes it just ha like it, it happens because it's down. Like the provider is uh, something is wrong there, you know. But hey, you here, so turn out to be all right in the end. Nox, yeah. I mean, I, I knew what you meant. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Um. <laughs> hey, keyboard smashing is important. We all know what it means. Usually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's also this this week, there's a huge event in town. So it's really, there's a lot of people. So I've been very, um, very drained being at work, uh, surrounded by so many people out in public. So I really, really needed a nap today. That's why I'm an hour later today than usual, because it's been it's been a week so far but wednesdays usually my fridays so from here on out we're gonna be chilling we're gonna we're gonna be having a good good time that's what we are uh, and also next stream will be on friday as usual but on saturday i will probably not stream because uh, I've already agreed to join Sarah, aka Seraphian, aka Serufian, um, because he's celebrating five years on Twitch. I don't know if it's an affiliate if affiliate anniversary or if it's five years of streaming. I actually forgot to, to see, but it's it's he's celebrating five years, so we're gonna be um, playing a lot of co-op games in his stream on Saturday. We were gonna be playing. Uh, seamless co-op in Elden Ring. Uh, him, myself, Pickley, and Chris. Um, but something happened with the mod, so it's not working at the moment. So if we can't play that, we will probably play something else. But we're gonna we're gonna be playing some 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 games together in his stream. So let me just give him a shouty outy as, as well. Go follow, go follow Seraphian if you haven't. Naps are important, should always focus on your health. It's true, it's true. It is true. I take a lot of naps lately. <laughs> I don't know, I, I guess I'm just perpetually tired all the time now. I don't know, I don't know. Wait, you get excitable on the wall of text come out? Wait, what do you mean? Oh! Oh, I, I didn't- I didn't even see that because sometimes my- my, uh, chat window... 
it doesn't show up uh, it doesn't show everything or like i miss things very easily so i had to scroll up um what's sleep like oh tom you, you could sleep instead of playing instead instead of playing fortnite you know it, it is possible <laughs> It is possible. <laughs> wait, that emote is cute. I haven't seen that from Tina. Fuck, wait. So what are you playing now then, Tom? If it's not Fortnite. I'm, I'm out of the loop. I don't know what people are playing these days. Unless I see them stream, uh, then I can see what they, they, they're playing. But people who don't stream, I... I, I I'm out of the loop. This Sims building music sounds like it. No, this is this is from a game called um, uh, uh, Melatonin. I was like, it starts with an M, but what is it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's a rhythm game called Melatonin. I highly recommend it. It's really good, and it has these very nice, soft, dreamy, purple pink colors and it has really good music as well like all of the these songs are from from that game but the reason why i'm using certain game soundtracks is because i know that it won't get um it won't get copyrighted on on youtube <laughs> and that's that's the main reason this season was so bad, your playtime went down by like 70%. Wait, what is... I have... Dude, I, I have literally never even tried playing Fortnite, so I have no idea how anything works when it comes to like seasons and stuff. You've just been jumping around games for two months? Hmm. So what have you been up to lately, though? When, like, what has been your main game? What has been your main game? Also, guys, what are you watching lately? Uh, for those of you who haven't been in, in the Discord, um, I guess we pr kind of flooded the anime channel last night. <laughs> Which, um, yeah, we're talking about... Because I'm watching the second season of Jujutsu Kaisen for the first time because I didn't... I kind of just dropped the show after the first season aired in like 2020 and then I never went back and until I decided to just rewatch it now and watch the um, the movie and season 2. Um and I'm really glad that I did because season 2 and ended up being so far a lot better in my opinion than season 1. So uh I'm glad that I, I went back to it though. So that's what I've been watching. And Ghost, uh, we re recommended that he could watch The Apothecary Diaries yesterday. So that's, so he he's been watching that. I don't know about you guys. Would would have you guys been watching anything new or rewatching anything? One hundred and fifty-two new messages. Wait, really? Was it that many? <laughs> oh damn. But hey, I'm so glad though, because you know, my Discord has been kind of dead for a while now, but it, it comes and goes. Sometimes it gets really busy and very active, and then suddenly it just dies down for a while, and then it goes back up again. So it's nice when, when it becomes more active again. It was change up the weapons, map, etc. And this time the balancing was really bad. Oh, I see, I see. We played any shooters? Are you asking me? Uh, not really. <laughs> because most of them are first person. I know that, I know that Fortnite isn't, but most of them are. So, I mean, I've tried a few here and there, but if they're first person, I can't really play them. My almost murderous entertainment to you. <laughs> um, no black cats. You need you, don't don't be scared. On episode nine, going slow. 
hey, that's good. Like, I watch it weekly. And I feel like... I don't know. I know that, like, I love binging shows. But I feel like when you watch an episode weekly, when it's brand new, it's easier to to remember things. I feel like whenever I binge a show, it all kind of blends together and I forget about the details and maybe I will just remember the main plot or something. Or I will only remember a few de details and not remember the plot at all. <laughs> it's like, I don't retain as much of the show if I binge it uh, as opposed to when I when I watch it weekly. So I kind of prefer to watch it weekly. Mm, you finished two Assassin's Creed games, then lost the main game perk. <laughs> you think most you've been playing was Helldivers, but you need Clever and the others for that? Mm, I see, I see. But what about Chris, though? No, I don't... I don't know if he plays that anymore. No, you can't do the first person games. Yeah, it's uh, it's fine though. There's so many games to play that in a way, I'm kind of glad that my my own body tells me what games I can play <laughs> to just, uh, you know, just, just make it easy for me to decide what to, to play. Not all stories are murder stories. <laughs> You will do your part to post buff Pokemon and people talking. Mm. Yeah, um, I did. We 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 all got. Um, I don't know. Would you say blessed or cursed with with um, the buff uh, Murkrow? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You've been addicted to Ace Combat Seven, going for max rank on all missions on high highest difficulty. Damn, Craig is a god gamer. I don't- I haven't even heard of that game. <laughs> I've never even heard of it. Uh, some of them burn your eyes. <laughs> um, you're a very paranoid person. They almost all end in... I thought I was about to be... <laughs> uh, never played with him and Rods and the others. Hmm. I mean, you could try. I know that... Wait, hasn't Clever also played with the uh, dad man? I don't know if Ron's plays it anymore, though, but I do know that uh, Chris has been playing it quite a bit with Lauren. Been working a lot. Uh, you've been working a lot, so it's a lot of Baldur's Gate three. Or let let it die. Well, Baldur's Gate three is always a winner. I've been meaning to play Baldur's Gate three. For weeks now. I think it's I think I haven't opened the game in how long? I think it's just because I feel like I need to dedicate a lot of time every time. Which isn't true. Like you can literally play for maybe like 30 minutes if you really want to. You don't have to decide that you're gonna be playing for several hours at a time. But in my head, I feel like that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> So I need to prepare and then I just end up not playing it. July 25th, that is when I last opened the game. So I haven't even tried playing with the new monitor because I wanted to. I wanted to try with the new monitor to see how different it would be with the, the wide screen. So I'm, I'll see if I can do that tomorrow, maybe. You're almost ready to get back to Baldur's Gate 3 again, but you want to wait until that one big patch they promised. Yeah, it's gonna be next month. Uh, I saw that they posted some cutscenes from some of the evil endings. I closed it though, because they said that it would be con uh, containing spoilers. Um, but yeah, it's gonna happen next month. I don't, well, no one knows the date, but they did say September, so. Just a little while longer, and you you will you will be able to, Tom. Ace Combat is fight jet game, probably the number one game too. If you get motion sickness, oh okay, okay. <laughs> well, that that's good to know. 
When your job is done, it really more it's like if you have to see it by stumbling across it and you're scarred and everybody has to see it and be scarred. I mean, I... I am of the same opinion, Black Cats. I also want to share... I also want to trauma bond with people. <laughs> I also want to make sure that we can all trauma bond together. So it's like, if I have to see it, you too have to see it. And then we can be united in, 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 in pain and suffering. You think you've seen Clever play with them? Yeah, I thought so, but I wasn't entirely sure if they had played it together. It's one of those games that feels overwhelming when you think about it too much. Yeah, it's kind of like how I feel about um, movies and stuff as well, because if I think about all the time it's gonna take me to watch an entire movie, I end up not watching it. But if I just, you know, try to clear my head and just not think about it, just do it, just start playing it, you know, as long as I'm not in a rush and I have to be somewhere within a short amount of time, obviously that's different. But if I... If I just don't think about it and I just press play, suddenly I'm I'm in the mood for for it, you know. Sometimes you just have to do it. Sometimes you just have to do it that way. Not the buff Pikachu. <laughs> uh, I think the last time you opened it was to get the Astarian picture. Oh, uh, well, for my birthday. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, I had a. I got a, a kudo board for my birthday where people had signed it and everything and Tom signed a, a birthday message with a, a starion with a clown makeup. <laughs> uh, so you literally went into the game to take that screenshot just for my, my birthday message. <laughs> That's very sweet though. I really wanted to try a necro bard, so you went all in and hoped to finally finish one run after 500. Wait, you never finished uh, the game once? Damn. But how how um, how far you have you gotten though? Overall, I finished it twice now, and I have my one off stream playthrough is also in Act Three, but I have. I haven't gotten even to the city. It's it's all in Rivington still, so it's not. I haven't gotten very far into it. But I have 583 hours though. Um. Used to fall asleep to true crime videos, but then everything made you on edge constantly in spite your anxiety. So, to do literally anything, including just. E exists so you had to stop i mean that seems like a good choice black cats because i don't falling asleep to true crime videos i don't think that would be good for anyone <laughs> um by then maybe it won't be 30 degrees in your room so your pc won't catch on fire playing it mm. that's a good point that is a good point yeah, I, I'm also tired of the, the heat. Especially the, the the humidity. You know, if it's if it's nice and warm, but also like a nice breeze at the same time, that's fine. But once it's all gross and humid and, and you know, it's no, it's not it. You can't be the only one walking around with those pictures in your head. Uh, others gotta join your suffering. It's out of love. <laughs> um. You stopped after 250, you're a noob. Mm. Well, you know, you, you still have time to catch up, Tom. Yeah, I, I have tried not to play it as much because I don't want to burn myself out on it. And Act 3 tends to be very overwhelming. <laughs> so I'm just, it's really difficult for me to get back to the game when I know that the one character that I have is in Act 3. And I don't want to be that type of person that keeps starting a new playthrough 
over and over again and having so many different saves because I know that that is a thing for a lot of people, especially when they get to Act 3 because it's so dense. Um, so I'm just trying to force myself not to do that because I don't know. I don't I don't like having any loose ends. I want to I want to finish things. <laughs> you got to act 3 in your main uh, run, you're afraid of what's going to happen. You don't want it to end if this character dies, you'll be so sad. Wait. But what do you might mean if this character dies? Are you playing on honor mode or because you you can always resurrect them again. Or reload. But yeah, it's it's rough though. Act three is when when you haven't finished it and seen what happens in the end. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to spoil anything. And uh, there's so many what ifs. Like, what if that happens, or what if I can't do that, and what if what if uh, I can't save these people and everything, and then you just. It can get very, very intense and emotional. Starting over and over is the accepted way to play Skyrim. Get around to level 20, you attempt to make a new character. I actually never really did that with Skyrim. I... Well... The thing is... I was kind of late to Skyrim in a way. I think I started playing it in 2015. So, not late, but late compared to a lot of other people. So yeah, I think 2015 was when I started playing it for the first time. And I never finished that. Um, I was also playing on a laptop, so it was... Uh, my laptop was not happy about it. Um, so I never finished that one, and then I got the... Um, you know, the... What was it called? Um, you know the when they the the special edition or whatever. I don't I don't remember. Um, I got that for PlayStation Four because I was like, well, I already have it on PC, so might as well get it on PlayStation Four, and I pre-ordered it. Little did I know that if you already had the copy on Steam, you would get the upgraded version, like the new version for free as well. And I was like, oh shit. And now I just wasted a bunch of money on PlayStation 4. So I played for a while on PlayStation 4 and I never finished that either. So it wasn't until the third time on the new, um, on the new one, the new, new, uh, <clears throat> New edition. Yeah, the special edition. I had to look it up now. <laughs> uh, on the special edition, that was the actually the first time I ever finished the game. Like, the, the main quest and everything and all the... I'm only missing, like, two achievements or something. And after that, I never felt like going back to it. Because it, did, it doesn't have a lot of replayability for me. Um, once I finished it once, I don't really feel like going back because, uh, I think I talked about this a lot, the, this last stream that I feel like Skyrim would be so much better if you could only choose one, um, one faction instead of being able to be part of all of them. Um, because you can literally play it only once and then be done with it forever. Which, in a way, is fine. But I kind of wish that it had more replayability. Yeah, I think the one or two achievements that I'm missing, I only remember one of them though, is the one of getting all the, all the vampire perks. Because I absolutely hated playing as a vampire. <laughs> I, did, I didn't like playing as a vampire. I, I loved playing as a werewolf, though. That was fun. But that was one of the achievements that I never got all of them. 
Um, you were too lazy to go over it 20 times. You got a bunch of endings with the same character. Wait, what do you mean? But you, there's so many endings you can't get, though. In the same playthrough. Because you have to play as an evil Dark Urge to get at least one ending. And then you have to... Uh, Well, I mean, I also guess you, you, well, now I'm also thinking of, um, achievements though. Yeah, because it's hard to get all the achievements uh, in more than, or in less than two runs. I don't know if that's even possible. Um, it used to not bother you at all. It was probably around your mid twenties when the concept of mortality being so fragile really hit that watching true crime went from interesting to that could be me and then it was like no nah, i'm good i'll post my it's <laughs> above pokemon <laughs> <laughs> hey i mean that is that is an option for sure black hats <laughs> those what ifs are what's stopping you mm. i will drink some water I think everyone hits this point in life where their own mortality becomes a more real thing. Got a couple of deaths close to you a few years ago and it definitely made death a more tangible real thing and you've possibly been having an existential crisis ever since. Yeah, I, I relate to that as well. I had a, an interesting year or at least six months after my dad uh, passed away. Where I was like, I was in this mindset that I was never gonna, I wasn't gonna say no to anything, you know, kind of like the the Yes Man movie with Jim Carrey, <laughs> just saying yes to everything, <laughs> which ended up being very interesting. Um, that's when I learned to to play the bagpipe as well because I ended up taking classes with a friend of mine, because she she was very random, she was very random and spontaneous. Um, so she suggested it, and I was like, sure, yeah, like, let's, let's do it. <laughs> so I went and did, uh, did that for, like, six months. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail about all the other things, though. Um, but that was more, the more interesting thing, um, or unusual thing that I ended up doing because of that. Quarter life crisis is said to hit at 25, and you believe they're right on the money with that? Mm. Yeah. And I guess this year was also the year that I was 25 because this was in 2016, so I was actually 25. <laughs> so it was, it was actually my quarter life crisis. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I never thought of the the actual age uh, I was at when that happened. Obviously not straight up opposite endings, but if choices were late enough in Act 3, you were curious, what w would that change? I mean, that's fair. I'm probably gonna do that with my one character that I have now in Act 3. I'm planning on... ...getting, like, an evil ending, um, just to see it, because you will get an achievement for it. I'm not gonna spoil anything, don't worry. Um. But I'm not going to go with that ending, I'm just going to do it to get the achievement, because I'm probably not going to do any evil playthroughs as a regular tab. Again, so I don't feel like that's going to happen, and you have to do... You have to do that as a... As a tab to get that specific achievement. Because there's another evil ending achievement as a dirge. So there's like... You have to be an evil tab and an evil dirge for two of the ending achievements. Right between the lines there, that that's an option is not my favorite option of yours, but I'll tolerate it. <laughs> well, you know, I, I'm just I'm not I'm not a furry. I will have to say I'm just I'm just not a furry. 
I can I can appreciate the the that it's funny, which I guess I guess it is in a in a way. But then I start thinking, why are people like this? Why do people feel the need to play to 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 make this sort of artwork? I don't I don't get it. <laughs> Telling yeah, I know, I know. Also, we have been live for almost an hour. Should we get into the game? We can get into the game. Um, I've just been yapping. I haven't been I haven't been streaming since since Saturday, so you know there's a lot of, to catch up on. A lot to catch up on. Also, I need to change the game capture. Need to change the game capture. Uh, hold on. Also, I love the music for this game. I love the music for this game. Why? When you found the buff Mur Murko, was the point where you're like, "All right, you're all going too far." <laughs> it's it's just it's not for me. I'm just gonna say that it's not for me. But yeah, this game is is very cute. Black hats. It's like a mix between Undertale and Amori, and I, I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, Sydney, how you doing? Welcome in. And I need to not go so long in between each stream that I play this game. Now it's been like two weeks. And I need to not wait this long. Hmm. Bonnie seems to be thinking hard about something. Well, save your sister, Bonnie. Huh? Oh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, the plot about this game is that we need to fight the king in this kingdom because he's about to, like, freeze everyone in time. Um, so we have this special ability that we can, we can't really die, like, the player character that we play as, which his name is Sifrin. Um... Or their name is different. Well, I mean, the pronouns are uh, he, they. Um, so, we can die and come back to life, but the other people won't remember anything. Only we can remember that we have been brought back to life. So it's like you're stuck in a time loop in a way to make sure that you get to do what you're supposed to do. Which is really interesting. You're doing quite well. How about yourself? That's good to hear. That's good to hear. I'm doing. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. It's been. It's been a rough week though. But now it's. It's getting. Getting better. What's your favorite Pokemon? Yours is Mewtwo. I'm very boring, and I, I'm just gonna say Bulbasaur <laughs> because I love Bulbasaur. And also, I'm just I'm just not very into Pokemon in general, in the sense that I I just I basically know Gen One and a few from Gen Two, maybe a couple outside of that too. But yeah, I don't I don't really know a lot of them, but I do I do love Bulbasaur. That's a great way of wording it because you don't want to be mean and call anybody names, but you definitely find it bizarre. It's not a thing, not my thing is going to be your new way of expressing it. Mm. Yeah, I tend to I tend to use that because it's like I don't judge people for it, but it's just not for me. <laughs> it's just not for me. 
But people can do whatever they want. As long as it's not hurting anyone, I don't care. You know? We love Bulby. Hey, Sif. You know you look like a hamster when you eat. Apparently. No, I don't. I'm so sorry to be the one to tell you this, but you do. Your cheeks are all big and wet. It skipped, and I didn't even mean to. Yeah? Stop being cheeky. <laughs> the funny thing about this game is that it's also very punny. It's very punny. Bulby is your all-time favorite? <gasps> Let's go! That's mine too. <gasps> Marty! I haven't seen you in so long. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Nobody can ever guess your favorites. I mean, you've said it quite a few times, so Black Cats. I mean, you have several, don't you? <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Also, we do have anonymous follows, by the way. Um, Pretty... Stop it. Or you. <laughs> no, well, we, we can guess. We could die today, huh? Oh well. I've had a good life. We won't die to die, uh, die today, Odile. Oh, is that so? I won't let you. You can prevent it, after all. Mm -mm. Hmm. Keep that sort of speech for the younger ones. I'm sure Isabeau would love it. Hey, it's true because I can, I can, I can make sure that that doesn't happen. Mirabelle is biting her nails. You point to them. Nails. Oh. Hmm. Thanks, Sifrin. She should wear gloves like you do. We're gonna be okay. I hope so. You might even say, huh? Oh no. We're gonna nail it. <laughs> <laughs> the game has so many puns. <laughs> and we'll let you win. Eh, you almost did, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody knows is a total secret. Mm. A total secret. Indeed. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Alright, let's go. Also, is the sound okay? Do I need to turn it up or turn it down? Or... Wait. Did you hear that? Do you hear that? What? That sound, that's... That's the king. He's... Trying. There's a key on the floor. You pick it up. You found the empty key. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a mask of some kind. You put the empty key in your pocket. Well, judging by its location, I'm guessing this is the key for the gate just ahead, but... Yeah. You played a banger game recently, finished in tw 20 hours, it's not too long, it's a puzzle game with a story, and it's so good, Lorelai and the Laser Eyes. Oh, I've heard of that one. I don't know if it was because someone in my my friends list had it or not, I'm, I'm but I've seen some of it. Similar to the keyhole shape, like an angry mask. Hmm. Well, that's good though. I love when you you can play like really short games that end up being very. impactful, you know? A mirror. You and your allies are reflected in it. That's a big mirror. Massive, even. And there's not really anything else on, of interest in this room. I don't know anything about it. Before the house shifted around because of the king, it was in a part of the house I didn't often walk by. Hmm. Isabel was looking for the switch. If it is what I think it is, then... It should be... Aha! Uh -huh. Everyone, say fromage. Fromage... <laughs> What was that? Oh, look! Something's on the ground. A piece of paper? Uh, behold. <gasps> oh! It changed because last time... Last time it was only Isabeau who... 
was aware of it being a picture, but seeing as we can die and come back and, and retain information from before we died, this was also not new information for us anymore, so we also got prepared for it to be a picture. So we also we also posed in. Oh. It's a picture of all of you. It's us. This is lovely. Isn't it? It's a crafted mirror that takes pictures. I heard rumors someone was creating one, but I didn't know that someone lived in Dormont's house. I look so surprised. <laughs> Only Isabeau knew this was coming. Pictures are so rare. It's nice to have one of us. Thank you for telling us about it and for taking a picture, Isabeau. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. What should we do with it? Hmm. Odile looks at you. Would you keep it safe? Oh, one with all the secret pockets. You nod furiously. You got the mirror picture. You put the picture in your pocket along with your souvenirs. You and the picture are finally reunited. Uh, this game has a ton of puns, and you said, y but so do so does Undertale, Black Cats. What do you mean? Undertale is full of puns. I'm actually surprised that you like it so much, <laughs> because that also has a lot of puns. <laughs> what do you mean? Now that you can see the key, you pick it up. You found the smiling key. The keychain dangling from it is shaped like a smiling mask. You put the smiling key in your pocket. Hmm. A nice ratio of work and van trips. Mm. That is good. You gotta make sure that you get the most out of uh, out of the van before you you sell it. A dog and its owner. Oh, yeah, we, we have done this before. I'm just gonna... I have a feeling that this game is gonna be very long. Um... Well, maybe not super long, but we don't have to repeat all of them. Wait. I forgot what this was. Save it. Slap your hand right on Mirabelle's mouth. I, I forgot what this was. Oh. You shake your head at her and remove your hand. What the crab? What? I wasn't going to say anything bad. I was just going to say that... That it's... That... That this torch over there is wonderful, right? The design of it is very nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's because of um that was the achievement we got last time. Hold on, let me let me check. Ah, ba -da -ba -da. I did I just used my keyboard to check this. I didn't mean to <laughs> press the dialogue. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it was something about I think it was this achievement right here that we got from, from interacting with this. But yeah. It's acceptable because of nostalgia and you try not to think about it. Hmm. Hmm. God damn it. Wait. Why is it still showing... Why is it showing the, the thing? The overlay? <laughs> Why is it still showing the overlay? What the fuck, game? Okay, I need to I need to close uh, the game to close that again, I guess, after I've done this. What is what is wrong with Steam right now? <laughs> I was getting an ad, but yeah. 
You'll be watching Apothecary Diaries and cast yourself into the Shadow Realm. You'll be back after a couple of episodes. Enjoy, Ghost. Enjoy. And totally understandable. Yeah, this is this is highly irregular, Steam. Yeah, this is uh, paper knife to meet you. <laughs> Thank you, ghost. Um, craft. Jolly Round Rondo. This, is this, was it always called that? Um, Gonna send the turn over to Odile. There we go. You breathe in and out. 550 experience received. Mirabelle is now level 48. Hold on. I, I don't understand why this is happening. <laughs> okay, that fixed it. Okay, that fixed it. I just needed to... That's good to know. Uh, uh, have you heard of the Fields of Mystery? It might be the next game you download. I have seen a lot of people playing it lately. I've seen so many people playing it at the moment. I'm gonna turn it up to Odile. Paper. Damn. You're gonna heal yourself. Oh yeah, he can use a paper attack. Rude. You breathe in and out. 550 experience received. God damn it. <laughs> oh, it's this one. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, um, the attacks, like, it's like, it's basically paper, scissors, uh, and rock. So the shape of the, the hands of the enemies will kind of determine what type of attacks they do. So that's how you determine how to best fight them. Back in a minute, changing the sheets and making the bed before you sit down to full clothes. Nice. Go do go do it. Rude. But okay, yeah, she should do she should do that attack because that means that we will get a jackpot when we got five of the same attacks in a row, which will automatically heal everyone. And also Wake Isabel back up again. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, 
that she missed. <laughs> Curls into a ball? Don't do that. some damage. I did some damage. Well, she doesn't have... Well, she can card. Nice. A thousand experience. Actually, she should just focus on healing herself. go trying to make the bed with three cats should be an olympic sport <laughs> hey pop time has something to say about uh, that hmm i'm just trying to see if there's any anything that i can pick up Yeah, we got some tonics. And some broths. Also, I looked it up how, how pop time works. Um, and apparently it just kind of sees emotes that look like cats or dogs or something. So apparently it just detects them um, automatically, automatically somehow. I don't really know how that works though. The closet, you open it, you found the angry key. Hmm. No time. There's a house to explore. I'm just kind of skipping things so we can get to what we haven't done yet. Because the last time we, we died. And that means we have to redo some stuff. I mean, you kind of have to die, but... A lot of it isn't necessary to, to see again. Bob, look at this cat fox. <laughs> uh, black cats. Yeah, I don't I don't know though how it actually works, but That's at least what I what I found. Oh, 
all the loot. Issue 68? Yeah, yeah. I'm just picking up stuff to see that I- to make sure that I have everything that I need. To progress. To progress! You're getting paid off? Maybe. Maybe. A hole in the wall. The hole doesn't really bring you anywhere. This gate is locked. It's locked by one of those weird word locks. There's something written above the lock, too. Maybe you should take a closer look. Try to read what's written. You cannot read what is written above the lock. Just trying to read this makes my head hurt. Uh, let's see if we can use... Ah, we probably need a fresh one for that. <laughs> uh, ah, I'm just, I'm just tired of fighting everything. Are those scissors? I think so. Yeah, because he resisted. So I'm gonna give it to Bo, Isabeau. Oh, damn. What? I- What? I didn't click anything! What? Excuse me? Is my controller living its own life? Because I literally did not press anything. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Damn. Add Fox? Yeah, add Fox. Do it. Do it. Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, we have been here. We have been here we can't progress there so what door is it that we can go through hmm key time okay this is a, a door oh yeah Weird smelly one. Free crest sadness. Yeah, this is what we need. So we can progress. Private threats don't work. You already tried. Threats are all you know. Let's try to use knife to meet you. Okay, that was not good. So that means that we probably need to use... Rock. I'm gonna try with paper first, though, just to make sure. Oh, no, maybe it was paper. Mm. Paper. him. Okay, there we go. Now we get a... Uh, a 
jackpot attack. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, we got the star crest, which is what we need to progress. So what we use the star crest for is to get rid of uh, the 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 drops, the water drops that will block the path. So we could... I'm, I'm thinking of going down here. The tear floats gently. You have a star crest, so... Use a star crest? Yes. Hey, Palm! How you doing? How are you doing today, Palm? Someone frozen in time. Oh. Mira? That's one of my friends. He pushed me away so the curse wouldn't get me, and it hit him instead. He saved me. Isabeau hugs Mirabelle to his side. Let's keep going, yeah? Mm. <gasps> the door is locked! Symbol over the keyhole is shaped like a crying mask. Oh, fuck. We don't have the key for this one yet, do we? There's a piece of paper stuck to the door. We closed as many doors as we could, but if somehow you need the key for the, to this one, I hid the key in room 403 in little, little Mark's notebook. Room 403? Rooms have numbers now? The classrooms do. We've only seen a couple, but the house has way more. Room 403, though. I'm pretty sure we've at least passed it. It's where... Ah, ah, it, it's, um, it's currently on the second floor. The second floor? But we can't go to previous floors, can we? The big doors close behind us, don't they? Hmm. Well, that's not good. But you're here. Classroom on the second floor, though. That's such a long way back. Better get going. Ah, fuck. Oh, that means that I have to go and die. The tear floats gently. Touch it. Yes, yes, loop in time. We have to go to the second floor. So is this considered second floor? Yeah. Do you think there's competitive rock, paper, scissors? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Pretty well, school had a really, really stressful part to it, but you rounded out the day with KFC and peeping out a alien Romulus with a good buddy. You had plenty to discuss after it. We were very, sa very satisfied. That's good. It's good to hear, Palm. Anytime you say peeping, I'm like, sometimes uh, I read peeing and peeing. <laughs> like, that's that's probably not what it means. <laughs> you wake up, you dreamt you fell right through some stairs. Scary. Oh yeah, we don't need to do this again. That's a move on. You ready? Ready. Your phone just fell off the bed and you said, ow, you just realized you do this a lot with inanimate objects. I do the same thing. I do the same thing. Not the only one. <laughs> I think for me it often is because it makes a loud sound so it's not so much because it's painful or anything it's just the sound it's here a desk on it is a notebook title mark super awesome great amazing super duper cool notebook do not touch out of this uh, out of disrespect you open the super duper cool notebook wide oh thank the stars it's here you found the crying key the keychain dangling from it is shaped like a crying mask 
A key here? A mask, huh? This feels out of place. I was expecting a keychain shaped like scissors or something. You put the key in your pocket. And now know where the crying key is located. Sif? Looking at the key in your hand is making you realize. The trap at the entrance, the key in the admin room, the key that you had to backtrack for. You're not very good at your job, are you? It's your job to look for traps. Your job to see hidden things. And you fail at those multiple times. If you weren't looping, there's no way you would have been able to get this far. You would have died for good right away, and possibly brought everyone down with you. I can't help but sigh. Someone pokes your hip gently. Hey, have a peach. Peach time? You take the peach and silently nibble on it. Well, peaches are pretty nice. Sometimes when you do... Sometimes when I do, you RP. <laughs> uh, your phone just fall. Wait, I, I... you'll go out of my happiness. Hey, you just you just need a good uh, protection on your phone. I've dropped my phone so many times, but and it it's four years old, but it doesn't look like it's been used at all almost. Because I have this uh, this plastic one around my phone that protects all the all the the edges. KFC was great. Popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken. We don't even have KFC here. I never had it before. You were silent for too long and made the mood awkward. Say something. Th th thank you, Bonnie. It's fun. You're a peach. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> you. <laughs> I feel peachy again. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know why I even worry about you sometimes. What? Anyway, key. Better get back to floor three. Hey, that rhymed. You could walk around and get some experience. Or you could just find a tear somewhere and loop forwards. I could loop forwards. I could do that. I didn't even think about that. Let's do that. Touch it. Yes. Um, Your laptop bag toppled over on your way home and you're happy it works. Oh. Oh, that's good. That is good. Popcorn chicken, you know it's a scam, but it's so good. Wait, what do you mean scam? I I don't even know what what it what how how it works. How is it a scam? It's fantastic. You feel like it's less chicken per dollar, but it's worth it. Oh, in that sense. Yeah, I've never even seen it, so I don't know how it's made. That makes a lot of sense. You also have really delayed reactions for things that clearly didn't hurt or your body just takes 10 years to recognize it. Like bumping your shoulder on the doorframe, keep walking, then say ow like two minutes after. I think it hurt you for that. <laughs> well, sometimes things hurt a few seconds later though. I don't know. You'd rather eat delicious, delicious chicken and less. Mm got a wing too to try it out and it wasn't worth it in relation hmm. I see I see yeah, I've never tried all these fancy chickens you wake up you dreamt you fell right through some stairs scary scary we are ready so we're just gonna do the same thing again. Wait. Yeah, we, we've done that before. Hmm. And 
and then go the doors oh yeah yeah we need to get the the key We need to get the key. I mean, we can do this again, too. A picture. A picture. I don't... Could be useful. Well, yeah, because it's the, the, the key. Um, that's why we needed to do that. I knew there was a good reason to do it. Popcorn chicken is great. Don't have to deal with the bones. Oh, so it's boneless chicken. I, I do love uh, when there are no bo bones in the chicken. That's why I usually don't like eating, like, chicken wings. Because it's like, there's just... The, the, the meat to, to bone... Ratio is just, you know, there's too much bone and not enough chicken. <laughs> it's like delicious chicken meatball sized like tater tots. Oh! Wait, aren't tater tots really small? Great spicing, too. You always prefer tenders to wings. That's the popcorn part? Oh, okay. Yeah, I I've never seen it, so I don't know, like, the, the stru structure of it. Um... That was a good call. The thing with popcorn chicken is you get way more of the spicy, crunchy outside. Hmm. I see, I see. I, I have never seen it. Okay, that was not the, the... Yeah, it was angry. We have the smiling one. What? I've never seen this one before. Um... Jesus Christ. You know, this might sound lame or uh, irrelevant, but sitting here doing laundry while watching stream just made you sentimental and realize how much you truly miss being around those few months all. It was so different in a bad way doing laundry while watching a YouTube video. Just really happy to be back. I'm so glad to hear that, Black Hats. I'm, I'm also really glad that you're back. It is, it is very good to have you back. Here's an image with Vepsi reference image. Oh no. I actually thought it was an AI <laughs> image. Ah, but that looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Okay, you're gonna heal Odile. Um... Yeah, you're gonna boost all our defense. Very snackable. Hmm. But it doesn't have a health bar. There we go. Oh, 
Got rid of one. Oh, she can do it to both. Okay. Nice. Admiral snack bar? <laughs> I actually got that reference, believe it or not, even though I I'm not a I'm not a Star Wars fan. We're gonna we're gonna get some some uh oh yeah we can do this again a cooking book all about stupid croissants so mirabelle about volgardian croissants you tune out you don't want want to even think about croissants odile is smiling which means they're probably done hmm fascinating thank you mirabelle eh, you're right mira you have something to say perhaps oh no we were never uh -huh. it's just Ah, uh, you should probably stop them. No, I'll watch it happen. It's very cute, right? Yes. It's cute. Your eyes light up and everything when you're learning things. It's cute. Cute? Deal isn't cute, she's old. No, Boniface. They have a point. I am very cute, aren't I? I wonder how cute you'll think I am when I put wasabi in your sandwiches when you least expect it. You'd help me out, wouldn't you, Boniface? I'm always up for putting spicy stuff into people's lunches, so yeah. Croissant. Yeah. Oh no. Sorry, madame. We didn't say anything. You chuckle. Huh. Looks like Sifrin wants a sandwich as well. Would you like me to offer you one of my sandwiches, Sifrin? Ah. No, Odile. Thank you, Odile. Heh. <laughs> Good. No, get away. Okay, so we need to find uh, the key, the smiling key. No, was it the angry key? I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, but the, the, there's stuff in here. said snack bar and now you want nachos? Oh, damn. I'm just munching yourself because you're a snack? Hmm. That sounds painful, though. An open book stained by clay and dirty hands. It's an issue of the Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue 87. Is 87 the highest number we found? I don't know. Hmm. But yeah. I'm gonna move on and get the, the last key that we're missing. Key time! I think this is the one. Yeah, we got the angry key. No time. No time. House maiden. Oh, that's... I don't know who that is, actually. They have a cool necklace, though. Let me see. Oh, I know them. That's another house maiden. I hadn't seen them in a while. Didn't know they were changing. Come to think of it, I hadn't seen them for a little bit before the king. Maybe they were close to done crafting their body. We can beat the king. You can see them and meet them again. Yeah. Never forgore the croissant. It's ex it's true. It's true. I was actually really close to getting some croissant today because they were on sale. But I was like, no. It's only Wednesday. I shouldn't. So I didn't. Quasail, yeah. <laughs> Quasail. 
Oh, it was like three for two. And like, if it was... Uh, mm. The thing is, I would have ended up buying all three. You know? And that's not good. Off for me. Okay, let's open the door. Oh, the, 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 the ink. Wait, this is not the one. Hmm. Every day is... Well... I, I just don't need to gain any more weight. <laughs> Otherwise, I would agree. But I, I just... I have terrible metabolism, so I, I should What's be so? careful with these things. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I heard something and then I didn't. Uh, what? What? Someone outside? <laughs> Thank you, Palm. That's Queso? Wait, what do you mean? That's... I... What? What do you mean? I didn't, didn't say anything about Queso. Jesus Christ. Oh. I see. <laughs> it took me a minute. <laughs> but thank you, Palm. <laughs> Croissant day. Yeah. <laughs> that scared me, too. Because I, I was like... Because I only heard... A small part of it because I changed the the thing again with Tangia as I was starting stream and changed so that I would be able to hear it too. But then I didn't. I can only hear it because I'm talking at the same time, so my mic picks it up, and I can hear myself in the mic. So if I can hear something, well, if my mic picks it up, which it does, if it goes through my speakers, I can hear it because it goes into my headphones then. I don't know why it's like that. <laughs> croissant I'm scared. <laughs> so when do we have Qu croissant mukbang? No community stream? How how does that work? No. That's not what I meant. Tell Mike to stop picking up things. I know, I know. No, that's not what I needed. You we were walking by your phone and it sounded like someone in the room said it. Yeah. I thought someone was outside and like because I have the window open and I'm so terrified that someone's just gonna pop their head through the window because my window is literally right next to me and I'm terrified of that happening <laughs> I should probably not say that too loud in case someone actually can hear me and does it just to be an asshole Everybody eating croissant ASMR in Discord? <laughs> I mean, if people are up for it, you know? No, you hate that. No, no, it's just, it's just been used quite a lot, you know? So it's, it's not really, it's not really as funny anymore. <laughs> Weird smelly one. Got Norwegian croissant cr cryptids. It's true. It's true. Jesus Christ. Um. Uh, 
Hmm. Well, you need to heal yourself. Um, that's for sure. Let's try with the smash. Okay, so it's paper then. Paper? Okay, you need to do this so we can... Yeah. After this, we can get to new, new stuff. We can get to new stuff. I don't know if that's necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I guess it was necessary. Hmm. I wish that I could heal, because that's what we need. You're gonna guard. He should guard too, but he might. No. Yeah, I think we're gonna need to to heal a little bit outside of combat. I think we're gonna need to do that. Um, drink that heals 40% of everyone's HP. Yeah, let's do that. Let us do that. Okay, now we can progress. Now we can pro Ah, go away. Making progress. Used to start yeah, free path time. Oh, thank the stars you're back here. You try not to audibly sign relief. Key time. You insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Whoa! Isn't that the key you found in the classroom? If you didn't pick it up, Sifrin, wouldn't we... Wouldn't we be super stuck right now? Yes. Phew, we got lucky. Yeah, very lucky. <laughs> sure did. Hmm? There was a piece of paper stuck to the door. Can I see? Mirabelle is looking at the note intently. It's the one that's said to look inside of that kid's notebook to find the key, wasn't it? Are we going? Let's go, let's go. Ah, yes, let's get going. Would you eat a croissant with queso and a casa of peso? I, I've never even had queso. I, I, not even sure I know what it is. I take it that it has something to do with cheese based on what you said earlier. <laughs> Wait, over there, isn't that a bathroom? Seems so. Bathroom, 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 bathroom. So, does anyone need to go? Raise your hand. Just so you know, if you do need to go, when they make books about this moment, I'll be sure to mention how we needed to stop for a bathroom break. A few people raise their hands. You might as well go too. All right, let's meet back here once everyone's done po uh, powdering their nose. You close the bathroom stall door. You don't really need to go, but there's something you need to do away from everyone. You fist bump the air and whisper, uh, whisper yell, yes, 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 under your breath. Yes, all doing it. 
You are getting so close to the king. And it's all thanks to you and this blessing. How, whoever, whatever blessed you with this. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, you think. <laughs> Whether it's the universe, the change god, that tree, the stars, the moon, anyone, thank you. Ah, stars, can you imagine if you only had one life? You'd have died right at the start. And if not, then one of you might have been frozen in time forever by touching one of those tears because you're all a bunch of curious idiots. I mean, that's entirely true. What about Keso? I don't. I don't know. What? What is that? <laughs> Sorry, doing stuff around the house, but taking you with me. No, no, no! Don't, don't, don't apologize. What do you mean? I'm glad. I'm glad we're going with you. But you have this power, this craft. You'll never die for good. Queso is Swedish for cottage cheese. Oh, we just call it cottage cheese in Norwegian. Like we don't, we don't have an actual Norwegian word for it. You'll always be able to start again. You quietly jump in place with a big grin on your face. One, two, three, four jumps. You jump a final time out of breath and try to take a deep breath in and out. Phew. All right. You're so close to the king, you can almost taste it. You need to stay focused. What do you? You can always look back, start over, make sure nothing bad happens to you or the people you care about. The king will never know what hit him. You fist bump the air one final time for good measure. You exit the bathroom. Alright, everyone refreshed? You just had to complain about not getting any rain, you got ice? Well, I mean, is that so bad if it's very hot there? Wait, how do you... How do you get ice when it's 30 degrees Celsius? How does that work? Pouting your nose has multiple meanings is something you learn at bars in your early 20s. Drunk people will just really be telling anybody their business when you go in a bar bathroom. Mm. <laughs> well, we don't use an er though, Palm. You don't know how hailstorms work? Ah. But hail is, is kind of nice, though. Painful if you're outside, but... Alright, everyone refreshed. Noses powdered up. Bodies emptied. Emptied. Ah, emptied. Zah, she's asking if you pooped. All refreshed, nose powdered, and bodies emptied over here, madame. Sifrin? You nod. Good. Let's get going, then, shall we? What happens if I go back here? Nothing else to do in here. Okay. I'm just trying to pee. <laughs> uh. Oh, damn. What is this? Well, I thought there would be something in this room, but... But it's a crapping, crapping dead end. Language. There's an intact statue of the change god over there. Isn't it the first we've seen in the house? I guess that's true. Their face obscured, their silhouette shrouded, their expression hidden. An intact statue of the change god stands before you. Everyone is lost in thoughts, most likely sending their wishes to the change god join them? Sure. Better than nothing. You wish for victory. <sighs> what? You're holding something. You're holding the key knife? The key knife? Sifrin? What are you holding there? A knife! D did the change god give it to us? Huh? No, it can't. I think... They did. With it, we can... Wow. We can chop away the, the, the things in the... What the? That's... 
Floor three's entrance? The change card beamed us there. That's... Well, at least we don't have to backtrack. I'm not gonna ask questions. Thank you, Change God, for this boon. Thanks, Change God. Thank you. You and Odile look at each other and shrug. Thank you, Change God, or expressions, or whichever date he gave us this knife. Thank you? <laughs> you reach towards the lights. Everyone was healed. Your allies' craft skills and experience has been recorded for this location. Save your progress, yes. You close your eyes. E. The gate stands in front of you. So it's not mandatory to go to the bathroom in pairs and gossip? Hmm, no. No. And the rain is gone, so are the apples, probably back to the heat. Oh no. <sighs> the apples are gonna be fine though. If they're not ripe yet, which I doubt they are this early, the hail probably wouldn't have ruined the, the apples. Probably. You know, I was wondering, like, the king clearly cr uh, closed this door and put the tears in our way. But the... The locked doors, weren't they... Yes, we were wrong. They were most slightly locked by residents of the house. When the house was attacked, no one knew what the king's powers were. So they must have thought locking him in would have been enough to stop him. But by that time, he'd already made sure Vogard would start with slowly freezing in time. So, people in the house... ...were trying to save Vogard at the risk of their own lives? But it was all for nothing? It did get in our way more than anything else. But there's no way they could have known. They tried, and yet the king... This... This once changed king. I'll. I'll. Bell. You should get going. I'm predicting there will be a strong sadness in the next room for you to cut into ribbons, Mirabelle. Okay. We get ready and slice the door. <gasps> we slice the door. The key knife broke on impact. Maybe it wasn't sharpened enough. That's too bad. You're sure you could have found a use for it elsewhere. But at least the gate is opened. Oh, damn. I think I'm gonna take a short break here, though, because we're getting an ad in, like, five minutes. And, uh, I need to pee. <laughs> All of them talking about the going to the bathroom and everything made me want to pee as well. Um, so I'm gonna go BR BRB. I'll I'll see you in a bit. For girls, it's safer to in a bar to go as a pair, but it's not mandatory to tell other patrons about your nose powdering. That's true. That is true. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. Go take a break as well if you need to. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm.
Okay, we're back, we're back. <sighs> okay. It is so humid right now. And uh, I have a lot of like pressure in my head. So I really needed a break. <laughs> uh, but I also, I'm, I'm so excited to see what's going to happen now. Tusta, she's sharpening her claws on the on the carpet. That's what you can hear right now, by the way. <laughs> uh, this is as far as we've gotten. Another strong sadness. We should... Let's go, everyone. Mira. Yeah, what she said. Eh. Let Mirabelle blow off some steam. And battle time it is. Welcome back. Thank you. Oh, damn. Hmm. 
Okay, so what I want to... Let's see. Hmm. Sure, she can do that. Hmm. I'm just buffing everyone first. Wait, let me see. I kind of want to go with scissor. No. We can go with paper. Yeah, let's go with paper first. She needs to heal herself first, then. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Welcome back, Hello, ghost! <laughs> Welcome back. You know, I think I kind of want to guard. Okay, we got rid, rid of one. The big one is now vulnerable to paper attacks. Okay, it was a good thing that I guarded there. Then. Indeed, you're back. How how are you feeling about the show? Are you enjoying it more and more, or? Uh... All enemies. Okay, good. Yes, do that. I thought it said that it would be weak against paper attacks, like the big one. But it still says resist. That's weird. Hey, <laughs> Tuesday. The big one is now even more vulnerable to paper attacks. Hmm. Well, that's too bad because uh, paper isn't really that useful right now. You love it? Why they're only? But because it's it didn't. It's not too long since it ended. I think it ended in... May or April? But yeah. See, it's true stuff. Well, you can't see her that well, but... She is. <laughs> you want episode 11? Nice. Yeah, pop time, add my emotes. God damn it. No. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna use scissor attack now. The big one is now vulnerable to scissor attacks. Ow!
Yeah, she can't heal anyway now, so... Let's do that. Nice. The big one is now even more vulnerable to scissor attacks. Let me give his turn over to Sifrin. Now we get a jackpot attack. Ooh! Nice. 7,000 experience? Holy crap. Sifrin is now level 52 and learned the craft skill Dun Heal. Mirabel is now level 49. Isabel, Isabel is now level 49 and learned the craft skill Break Break. Odile is 49 and learned the craft skill Paper. Paper of V? Oh. Isabel just learned a new skill. <laughs> have gotten stronger. You got the memory of Break Break. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your fighter will be able to use Break Break as a skill even if he isn't at level 49. Break Break is a skill that lowers one enemy's defense. Odile just learned a new skill. Huh? I finally figured it out. You got the memory of Paper AV. You'll always remember this. When equipped, your researcher will be able to use paper. But what is... I know it's not an A as an A, but like, I don't know how else to say it. Because... I don't know. I don't know. Even if she is in that level 49. Paper... Of, of, yeah, I'm just gonna say that. Uh, it's a skill that deals big paper damage to one enemy. Yes, we won. Let's... Come on, everyone. Let's keep going. Mira. Okay, let's let's check. But thank you. I will do... I will drink some water. Hey, you're Ryan. I mean, that's what I... That was kind of what I was thinking, but I was like... But is that exactly how how what it looks like? I'm not entirely sure. Equip. Let's see. What is he using? Like what is his Ready for it. Auto defense up at the start of battle. Mm. I kind of like this, though. Um, you're socially, socially drained. That is totally fair, Ryan. How's the game been? It's been good. We have, we have progressed quite a bit already today. Uh... Odile, um, yeah, you know, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the new one. Wait, these are better. No, it does more attack, but less defense. Oh, but it also increases crit chance. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna switch those as well. 
We've been playing Stardew Valley in Heyday, and you got your album today. You went to pick it up, and you got very overstimulated. Do you think you're still not fully recovered from the IKEA trip as well? Hmm. Understandable. Not feeling full color name, but you don't have the energy to change it. <laughs> hey, that's totally okay, Ryan. Right. You just, you just rest. Take care of yourself. Make yourself comfortable and 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 rest. <gasps> what is this? Ah, someone is far inside the house. Oh. Claude. No, 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 no. Oh, is that? That's my roommate, Claude. Oh no, how could this happen? I... I hate my roommate. She's annoying and always bothers me for stupid reasons, but... But... I... I used to think she w should have become a defender because she was always helping people and trying out weird experiments to solve their problems. And she would always, always help the head housemaiden with hers. Always trying new ways to organize her desk, to help her finish tasks, to make sure she'd get some free time. She'd do it with a smug smile, saying it wasn't that big of a deal, that she'd do it for anyone, but... If she knew that the head housemaiden was in danger, she would have ran anywhere, everywhere, so she could help her. Not only because the head housemaiden would have sold anything, would have beaten the king if she could, but because... Because... If Claude is this far into the house, she must have tried to stop the king herself. So he wouldn't get to the head housemaiden. Thank you so much for the follow, welcome in! Um, we do have anonymous follows, by the way. You can try, but you're not very good at resting. Hmm. I feel that. Sometimes. And then sometimes I feel like I rest too much, even though it doesn't help. <laughs> but hey. People rest in different ways, though. Some people need to nap. Some people just need to lie down. Some people need to just have it quiet around them, and that is enough, you know? No, it depends. It depends on the person. Is this a new area? It is. It is. We we have moved on to a new floor. So this should be the fourth floor now? So we're getting pretty close to the king. And so, if she's like this, he must have... Ah. Ah! <laughs> oh no. What does it mean? What does it mean? I... I'm so... So useless. No, you're not. You don't know what to say. You don't know what you should say. How can you say in a moment? Uh, what can you say in a moment like this? Mirabelle gently wipes dust away from her roommate's brow. Claude, if you can hear me, I'll be back for you soon. I promise. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Electech Ma Maniac. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> hey. Wow. Do you have a favorite Norwegian word? I haven't really thought of it, if I'm being honest. <laughs> because, I mean, it's... It's what I usually speak, so I don't really- I don't really think about my favorite word. I don't know if I have one. Do you have one? I mean, uh, do you even know- do you know Norwegian? <laughs> yeah, I don't- I don't know if I have one. I don't really think about words in that sense. It's like some words sound nicer than others, and I have more an aversion to certain words that, that I prefer not to say because I don't like them, but 
I don't know if I have a favorite one. It's hard to say. Mirabelle's roommate. Her eyes are open. Resigned. She was the one who was getting ready to make a bomb in Mirabelle's dorm room, wasn't she? She's holding something tightly in her fist. You kneel down. It's a small vial labeled Secret Ingredient. You got the secret ingredient. You put the vial in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Interesting. So we have the short gizmo gadget. And secret ingredient and long thingy thing. <laughs> You know if that's more of an expression though? Yeah, I mean it kind of is. It's more of um Yeah, I don't know. You'd like that one from from the few ones you know? Mm. <laughs> you love the word shenanigans in English just the way it sounds. It is a pretty fun word. I don't know if I have one in English either. I might, but it's not something that is, like, very clear to me. But thank you for the lurk, Craig. <laughs> I like how you use the, the uh to make the, the, the lurk command. I've been a lot into uh, Norsk language, to be honest, but no, only a little Swedish, so always trying to learn more. Nice, nice. Well, I mean, if you have any questions, you, you feel free to ask. It, like, if I can answer, at least. If I can answer, I, I will. Hey! Meow. Meow. <laughs> Both of my cats were in the same window. Tusta was not happy about that. I want to stay on the topic of Norwegian words. You know, that's fair. That is fair. But let's keep going. Bell, wait a sec. Mira, wait. No! I can't wait. We can't wait. We have to move on. Everyone is waiting for me. I can wait a little longer. Just calm down and... I can't calm down. The head housemaiden. She's so close. I can feel her. I need to help her. She needs my help. Everyone in Vogard needs my help. I... I... You don't know what to do. She's upset. She's upset. You need to help. Mira. I... Do it with me, okay? Just like Sif does. Oh. Huh. Isabeau takes a deep breath in and out, and Mirabelle follows a beat later. They breathe in sync together. Ah, uh, that is a thing that you could do, yes. Phew. I... I'm okay. But Isabel, you don't understand. The head housemaiden. I have to save her. The head housemaiden. She's such a wonderful person. Also, look at the time. 2.22. Almost 22. <laughs> it's a little late, though. But I just, I just noticed. So I was like, oh... Yeah, she helped me out so much. I couldn't do anything before I came to the house. I could barely sew, sew my own clothes. <gasps> you did it! Orion! Almost, wait, almost. <laughs> you almost did it. Damn, you were early. Holy crap. I was expecting it to be late, but not early. Because I, I said it so late. Um... But it's not easy to get that one right. But yeah, she helped me out so much. I couldn't do anything before I came to the house. I could barely sew my own clothes. And she helped me. She taught me. I wouldn't be the person I am without her. And when the king attacked, she protected me. Everyone. Everyone was being frozen in time around me. And the head housemaiden made sure I could escape. Made sure I lived. She gave me her blessing. 
Huh? Her blessing? Do you mean the power to survive the king's curse? But wasn't that... It wasn't the change god. The change god rarely does anything. The change god just pushes us to greater heights. It rarely helps us themselves. The key knife we got earlier. It was the first time I felt their help. But the head housemaiden crafted a blessing so I'd survive. So I'd save her. Save everyone. But why? Why would she... I don't know why. Why wouldn't she use it herself? Why didn't she save Vogart herself? Wait, I, I didn't press... What? What, what is... I didn't, I didn't press there. Sometimes I wonder if there's something wrong with the A button on my controller. <laughs> Maybe it like gets stuck, but it doesn't seem like it gets stuck. So I don't know. I mean, do you think she was wrong? To make sure you'd survive? I'm glad you're here, Mira. I'm glad you're here with us. Don't leave us behind. We're here. We want to help you. Don't be stupid and run off ahead. Everyone. I... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have run off ahead. It's okay, Mira. Now it's Madame Odile's turn to talk. What? But you all were doing so well. I want an emotional speech from you too, Madame Odile. Yeah, don't you see her tears? How can you say no to this face? To prove Isabeau's point, you make a grand gesture towards Mirabelle as if presenting a marvelous art piece. Isabeau does the same. <laughs> Bonnie also joins in. Mirabelle laughs, wiping her tears. Ugh, okay, fine, please stop. Ugh. Okay. I think it's silly for you to wonder if you were the right choice this late in the game. You're the one that was chosen. You're the one that found the orbs. You're the one that made it this far. So we can spend our very valuable time wondering if so-and-so could have saved Vogard better. But we're here. You're here. And now, the king is the only thing standing in our way. So you can have your little breakdown after we kick him where it hurts and spit on his grave. <laughs> Madame, that was very good. A little too dry, maybe. I'll give you an 8 out of 10 for effort. That's a passing grade, deal. Shut up. I... <gasps> They're hungry again. Whose tummy's grumbling this time? We're getting food. Deal? You have a tummy? Of course not. Well, your non-tummy seems hungry. Bonbon? Oh. I still have snacks. And they're ready now. Can you eat something, Belle? Yes, I can try. Okay, then all you sit the crab down. <laughs> then all you sit the crab down. <laughs> snack, 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 snacks. Okay. I have... Um, I'll start with the worst one. Leftover samosas. From yesterday's dinner? Yeah. They're the ones I burnt. I thought I should still keep them in case we get super duper hungry. <laughs> Don't be mean to the burnt samosas. They were delicious. They really were. They're not the worst of anything. Eh. Okay, next one. I have... Paul Mears? Wait. Paul... Paul Mears? What is this? I don't know. Is this also a French thing? <laughs> Your voice is so soothing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what? what is this? I've never heard of this before. Palm ears? We all know palm ears. Do we? They're yummy. They're crunchy. They get crumbs everywhere. Moving on. And um, the last snack. Okay, I've never tried it before, but the smell hits you. Could they be <gasps> Malanga fritters? Wait, what is that? Oh, 
Yeah. So? So? What do you think? I followed a recipe in a book. Uh, huh. Huh? What are they? <laughs> it's a nice biscuit. I was like, this has to be a French thing too, because, you know, all the names and everything are also French in this game. So, like, I've just assumed that most of it, if I don't know what it is, oh, it's probably French. <laughs> but that's cool, though. Hmm, well, huh? What are they? They're fried malanga and... Giraumon? Giraumon? I don't know. Malanga is some kind of root, and Giraumon is some kind of pumpkin. This, this smells heavenly. Oh, stars, oh, stars, oh, stars. Sif's eyes are sparkling. And they're drooling, too. Wipe your mouth. You have to get them. So, which one do you guys... Malanga fritters, please. <laughs> Look how happy we are. <laughs> Yay! I didn't even have a choice. I mean, I probably would have chosen it anyway because he seemed so happy, but... Bonnie hands you the delectable, yummy, wonderful Malanga fritters. It m might be your favorite fried food ever. Favorite food period, maybe. You want to eat them whole so badly, but you have to pace yourself. You bite into one, slowly, shakingly. So good, so good, so good, so good. You can't help but flail your arms around. Wow. <laughs> Sifra in your face. This is actually, this is almost how I am with <laughs> good food. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I'm a little bit calmer, maybe, but I actually wasn't really aware of. of the fact that I was stimming while eating until I I until I I uh, I think it was the first dinner that I had with my ex's parents and they thought it was so funny that I sat and 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 like kind of like I I made a little dance while I was eating and I've never, no one has ever pointed it out before. I've always done it. And they pointed it out to me. <laughs> and I've been so conscious of it since. <laughs> and it reminds me because my brother, he was, he, he used to be, well, I don't know if he still does it, but he, it was a similar thing for him. He was like humming whenever he had something good to eat. So like I was doing a little dance and my brother was humming. <laughs> and you know it, it it checks out. Like fried slices of I'm not even going to pronounce try to pronounce that. <laughs> the croissant dough typically but fried you think super crispy and coated in Wait, hold on. Coated in caramel? Oh damn, I am I am a sucker for caramel. Anything. Especially salted caramel. A thin layer of crispy sugar. Mm. Ugh, you miss French food? Soon you will have it again, Marty. You will you will you will be able to eat it every day. Soon. Your mouth be watering right now. <laughs> Honestly same. <laughs> you hungry now? We're all hungry. Oh damn. Rob calls you your happy dance, you do it too when something tastes really good. Same. Same. I just- I, no one really pointed it out to me before. When I was growing up or anything. So it wasn't until- yeah. Until outsiders saw me. Because I- I think it was only when... I don't know, maybe- I, I wonder why people never pointed it out before. A little tasty dance, yeah. Has <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sifra in your face? That good, huh? <laughs> <He's> even. <laughs> I love Sifra. Sifra <laughs> is the best. <laughs> Look at the face. 
<laughs> gross. What's that gross? After eating your snacks, everyone's health has been restored. I'm sorry, everyone. Being upset now... Shouldn't have. I should have kept it together. Mira, it's fine. We're all different, uh, different kinds of upset right now. It's a stressful day. Do you feel better now that you're eating? I do, thank you, Bonnie. And I'm less upset now, more... Angry. At the king? Yes. I feel more confident, too. We'll definitely kick the king where it hurts. Ooh. And where's that, Mira? His... His... His stupid crabbing butt. Yeah, so the thing is... Crab is just like saying crap in this world, but also like they have a very... They have this thing against crabs for some reason in general in this game, and I don't know why. <laughs> His stupid crabbing butt. Yeah! You all laugh. Got a memory of butt kicking. <gasps> we got a memory of butt kicking? That has to be the best memory ever. You always remember this. When equipped, memory of butt kicking will make you your housemate and revive one KO'd party member during a fight once. Hmm. Interesting. Good thing to know that you're not the only one who dances if you have some delicious food. <laughs> I think I just do it in general. I don't know if I do it no like if it's only good food or just just any type of food. I'm not entirely sure. Like, I don't pay attention to these things myself. <laughs> uh, you also didn't realize it until one day you were out to eat and you got something new and instead of asking if you liked it, he said, it must be good if you're doing the happy dance and that's when you found out you do it. Mm. That's funny, that's funny. Is Bella okay? Is she okay? I think she's okay because she ate some snacks. It's when you can't eat that you're not doing well at all. That's a fair point. Or if you're eating... Sometimes you eat because you're not feeling well too. So, you know, it, it's... Hard to say. <laughs> Makes sense. Thanks for all those delicious snacks, Bonnie. Oh, that's... It's okay. Did you like those Malanga thingies? Yes! <laughs> okay! Okay! Yeah! I made them for you, you know? I saw you look at the recipe book for a very long time and you were looking at that recipe. And I didn't know if you were staring at it because you really liked it or really hated it. So I'm glad you actually really... liked... it. I... mean... I mean... They made them for you? You made them for me? No! I, I made it for... Bonnie frantically looks around. F for, for Deal. I made it for Deal. Because she likes to try out new foods. I do not. Yes, you do. I suppose I do then. See? I made it for Deal. Not for you. Go away now. Don't look at me. Make like... <laughs> make like a crab and go. <laughs> a little lightheaded, you go. <laughs> just go! Don't look at me! <laughs> I just want to see. <laughs> Especially if you're the one who cooked it. Hmm. I'm, I don't like cooking, so I, I don't really... I don't know, it depends on the... F I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of emotions being expressed right now, aren't there? I feel bad that I didn't notice Mirabelle wasn't doing well. I should have paid more attention. I'm glad Issa is here. Yes. Neither of us is very good at this feelings thing. Boniface is a child still learning how to manage theirs. So it's good we have at least one person who knows what they're doing emotions-wise. So, 
in the spirit of being a person good at this feelings thing, how are you feeling right now? You're all good. I'm fine. That's good. You open your mouth to ask how she is, but I'm good. Feelings check over. Go away now. You leave her alone. <laughs> Go away. I need a break from talking. <laughs> I feel like Odile is how I used to be. Mira, how are you feeling? Good. Hmm. One word answers are really reassuring. They are. Now, two word answers. They're terrifying. Terrifying. To. to, to Turifying, uh, so I did say it right. I was like, I was second guessing myself. <laughs> Turifying, they're turifying. <laughs> so that one she actually thought was funny. <laughs> I'll be fine, Sifrid. Thank you for asking. Thank you for being here. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else, Mira. She gives you a gentle smile. Turifying. She liked a pun! For once! She actually liked a pun. We're doing it. Mira. She's strong, but this situation must be super stressful for her. We gotta stay at her side, okay, Siv? You nod. What you said to Mira. Huh? What did I say? Do it like Sif does. Oh. The deep breath. Um, well, it's just some something me and Mira noticed. Sometimes when you're take, uh, taken off guard, or when we get out of battle or something, you always take a deep breath in and out. It's to calm yourself down, right? The breathing? You always do it the exact same way, too. You go like this. Isabel puts his hand on his chest and breathes. Deep breath in. And out. Mira and I wonder what that was all about. And we talked about it and realized it kind of seemed to calm me down. And we thought it was cool. And that one time a few days ago, Bonnie was upset and he told them to do that, so we remembered. It does calm me down. How weird. To be noticed and known. I was telling you weird? I think that was weird. I shouldn't have said that, because now you might get self-conscious. <laughs> I'll... Try not to? Okay. <laughs> What's up, Mira? Yeah, Isabel. You should be careful. You might make Sifrin self-conscious about breathing. Eh. <laughs> you snort. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Please don't get all self-conscious about breathing, though. You nod very seriously. Just realized that you were five minutes late on the stream, so you had to refresh. Oh, five minutes? That's that's a long time. You reached towards the light. Everyone was healed. Your allies, craft skills, and experience has been recorded for this location. Oh, Gobi, thank you for the 69 butts. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the 69 bits. What do you want me to call you? Maniac? <laughs> Wait, but thank you so much for the 69 bits. I appreciate it. But yeah, I, I would like to know what you prefer to be called, though. 69, yeah. 69. You thought I was... Uh, me too. <laughs> Gobi is usually the only one who uses that alert, so I, I'm like... <laughs> uh, save your progress? Yes. We're still in Act 2. King must be up ahead. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, damn. Are we about to meet the king? 
Lucas, Maniac, or Alec, what, whatever you prefer. I mean, if I, if I can remember Lucas, then I will, I will try. Oh, damn. It's serious business now. There's a 69 bit alert? Yeah. <laughs> there is. Oh shit, it is the king! What? Ah. Ah. Oh. Young ones. Are you... here to kill me? Oh. Young lady. You stand for change themselves. Do you not? I... I... I just want the world to stay the way it is now. To be frozen in eternal beauty. A world of everlasting peace and rest. Young housemaiden. In a way... Isn't my wish a form of change? Why aren't you on my side? Ah. Can you feel it, young lady? The universe yearns for everyone's hopes to be encased in, limit in limitless ice. Won't you allow your fate to be ended? Corrupting and ending people's lives? You call this a form of change? You dare compare your dreams of ice and stillness to change themselves? This is not true change. This is just you acting as a god would for your own satisfaction. One would think keeping a whole country from changing and evolving is the farthest thing away from change. That was my thought too. But yeah, there is a there is a 69-bit alert uh, on purpose because, <laughs> well, you know, people tend to to think that that is a funny number. <laughs> Good, yeah, good. <laughs> uh, it's so funny because it was like at that point we got to to sixty eight on on the quotes, and I'm like, we need to make sixty nine a really good one. And then Orion just quoted me saying good. <laughs> Fun number indeed, yeah. Mm. So that's the king, it is, it is the king. Pretty self-explanatory, stupid. Seems like a pretty pathetic way to appeal to housemaiden's good nature, huh? Is this what you want then? For us to peacefully let ourselves be frozen in time? I will never be on your side, king. Not in a million years. Oh. Huh. Spoken like a true housemaiden of change. But, wait, you, traveler, Odile looks at you with an expression screaming, does he mean you or me? That's a good point. <laughs> um, you still think that's kind of hilarious? It is, it is pretty funny. Good, yeah, <laughs> good. There's a hole down there? Yeah, roll down the hole. Mm. It should have been nice. I mean, yeah, it should have, but it's too it's too too long ago now. <laughs> but yeah, does he mean you or me? You shrug. Right one. Ah, so he means you. Do you remember? Remember? Remember what? Oh. Oh, oh. It seems you do not. We shall fight. And we shall see which side the universe favors. Wait, do we have... Have we lost our memory or something? But this seems very early, though. Judging by how many achievements there are in the game and how many I've gotten. So it's like... I would assume that there's a... We're supposed to die here? Like, we're not supposed to win this fight? And that this is just... To get a taste of what is to come or something? 
But that's the whole joke. Mm. <laughs> um, do you remember the 21 night of September? Wait, what do you mean? Some games have endings super early as well. Yeah, but this is like, it's been very... Um, I mean, I understand that if it has a lot of different directions you can go, but this is kind of the intended way. So I feel like this is very early in the game. So I don't think it's supposed to be an actual ending in that sense. Oh. Oh. Despite what you may think, I am a merciful king. I will give you some time to come to terms with your end. A most beautiful end. An eternal end. Wow, he's really tanking, uh, taking us for chumps, isn't he? We've gone this far. We will not back down. Get ready, everyone. Uh... Well, let's see what he's... Uh, how this works on him. Okay, he resists that. I'm gonna buff everyone. And... Oh. Oh. That is time, saviors. What? You see a vision of the future. Well, I don't have the strength to go on, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I guess I was right. I just assumed that it would be not that... ...instantaneous, I guess. <laughs> okay, then. One hit. One hit. The king got you all in one hit. You'd laugh if you had the energy to do so. You can't move. You can't see. You can't really... ...feel anything, either. You don't think you'll ever get out of this one. Ah! Sif! You can't... ...let it end this way. Come on, you useless body! Move! No, no, your allies, they're... No, you can't let him. You can't let the king hurt them. Bonnie. Just run. The sound. The footsteps. They escaped. We need to buy them time. No, please. Not your allies. You have to do something. Move. Move. Move! Please. Do whatever you want with us. Don't hurt Bonnie. Please. Oh. Oh. Do you think the king knows what's going on with Sifrin? Maybe, but I have a feeling that the king has already met Sifrin. And that Sifrin doesn't remember because... Well, I don't know why, but that's what I'm thinking, at least. Because he asked uh, us about, like, if we remembered something, and we... And it seemed like he already knew uh, who Sifrin was. So I don't know. <laughs> Do not worry. After I take care of you all, the young one will have a wonderful rest. But before that, the king strikes. 
Ah. Ah. Everything hurts. You can't move. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah, it, it hurts. In case anyone was wondering, it hurts. <laughs> you feel a tug on your stomach. And then the king killed you. Oh. <gasps> Die against the king? Dude, the achievement popped on my other monitor. <laughs> like, not the one that Steam is opening. And not the game either. It just popped on my <laughs> other monitor. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh... <laughs> Whoa. Uh -huh. Woohoo. That was awful. You tried to catch your breath. Your body's fine and unharmed, but your brain still hasn't gotten the message, it seems. Stars, this was awful. Did he really kill you in one strike? This feels a little disrespectful, doesn't it? That attack was so strong. Why was it so strong? How is he so strong? The strike hits so hard. You don't think just buffing your defense with skills or equipment will be enough to survive it? Is there something out there that could protect you against it? A craft skill, maybe? Mirabelle. She's the one who usually heals you all in battle. She knows healing crafts you've never even heard of. Maybe she would know something. But for now... You got a memory of defeat. You always remember this. When equipped, memory of defeat gives you three memories of skirmish instead of one when you defeat regular sadnesses. Huh? Back to the stage, Sifrin. You have a king to beat. Can someone explain what the plot of the game is? Kind of, kind of lost, never played or watched someone play this game before. Well, I mean, I did explain it at the beginning, but I mean, it's kind of hard to... Uh, uh, well... Hold on. Let me... Let me see. Let me show you what it... Well, not show you, but... Um... So, what Steam says, the description is, Live with the ever-present burden of being trapped in a time loop only you can know about in this turn-based RPG. Create a better future for you and your friends. Find hope where there is none left. Pray to the stars and free yourself from time. Yeah, so I did I did mention this earlier that it's like you kind of you have to die to be able to progress um because you learn about things throughout so you have to like go back and get stuff that you couldn't before um so it's like part of it is to die like you have to die to be able to progress um and the thing is, the overall plot, though, is that the king of this kingdom, like, you and one of your other companions aren't from here, but two of them are. Um, so it's kind of... Well, that's not really that relevant right now, but... <laughs> um, also, I'm terrible at, ex at explaining things, but... So the king of this kingdom is, as you saw in the dialogue, he wants everyone to be frozen in time. Um, because he kind of finds, I don't know, some sort of beauty in that, I suppose. I don't know. Um, I actually don't know why he wants to, except for what we just heard in his dialogue. Um, so everyone... Well, not everyone, but a lot of people are already frozen, and you have to stop the king to make sure that no one else gets frozen in time. Um, and on the way there, you find out that you can actually die without dying for good, because you 
you can get resurrected and remember what happened from before you died. So you're just stuck in a time loop where you can't actually die. Um, but hey, Thundus, how you doing? You love that kind of concept. No more to progress is the best kind. Mm. Yeah, so it's like we we the plot so far is pretty simple, but it's like you learn more as you progress. So re zero, <laughs> in a in a way, uh, kind of, <laughs> in a way, it's just less violent, I suppose. A little less violent. Um, you reach towards the light, you close your eyes, and you save. <laughs> Um, were you doing good? I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I usually play this game on Tuesdays, but I've had to cancel so many Tuesday streams that I feel like I have to play this on different days to be able to play it at all. So maybe I should just have it as like a Wednesday game <laughs> or like both Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, There's puns and snacks, and you play rock, paper, scissors for your life. Mm. And trip on banana peels, yeah. So there are a lot of different ways you can die in this game. So you can reach kind of a dead end where you can't progress anymore. Uh, or you need to go back, because you, you can't really go back unless you die. So sometimes you need to force yourself to die to progress. And one time we died by slipping on a banana peel. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's really funny. But yeah, I'm I'm sorry that I I, I feel like I kind of need to end because even though I've only been live for 3 hours, but this light and everything is not doing me any any good right now. Uh and I've not been feeling good today. Cuz I think I should probably Wrap it up right now. I wish that I didn't... I wish that I didn't have to, but I also don't want to get sick. But it's it's the weather that really makes me... feel... kind of bad. I just feel bad because I also cancelled stream yesterday for the same reason. Um, but I'll be back on Friday though. And we can do a vote in the Discord if we should be playing this or Elden Ring. You can help me decide. Because that would be the last stream this week. Um, because on Saturday we're gonna be... Well, I mean, I'm gonna be in Sarah's stream. I think it's gonna be all day. So, because he's celebrating his uh, five-year anniversary on Twitch. It's best to take care... Mm. It's true, it's true. And next week, I will... I might only be working on Monday. I don't know. They, they kind of don't have a lot to do at work now. Again. <laughs> So I might not work as much as I thought I would. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how next week will be. But so far this week, we'll only have two streams, I think. Um. But hey, Sargra. How you doing? Rest is important. Never feel bad or sorry for having to rest. Your health is more important than... I mean, that's true. And thank you for saying that. But I know I'm. it's just... When I have a schedule, I feel bad when I don't stick to my schedule. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't feel that way, but it, yeah. So when when I when I Hold on, let me switch the scene. Yeah, it's just because of my schedule. Okay. No, not that. One. Not that one. That's better. That is better. But yeah, so 
as you saw uh, up there, that is my usual schedule. I stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And seeing as I am in CEST, Central European, well, summertime, I guess it is now. Um, I usually start stream around 9. Today I started an hour later because, well, because I needed rest. Um, get well, token. Thank you so much, ghost. I think it's nice of you to say that and be concerned. Wait, what do you mean? Because of my schedule? Yeah, it's just... Shelf is so base. Thank you. <laughs> it has a lot of my favorite things. A lot of my favorite things. Some animus. No, not animus. Uh, mangas and and some some uh, plushies and stuff. But yeah, I I I try to to stick to my schedule though. So it's. I know I shouldn't be too harsh about it, but. I try to be very, very, uh, structured, so I feel bad when I can't, when I can't stick to it. <laughs> love the cute fox on the mic. Yeah. Yeah. I do, I do love foxes. I do love foxes. Uh, there's a content creator and you love her and all she does, but she never does what she says and doesn't care because it's free content, although she's also often late for the Patreon stuff too. Oh, I see, I see. I mean, I mean, I know it's true that it is free content, but I guess it depends on like when you've reached a point where you actually have a community where you where people spend their money to support you, especially if it's your job. If it's your job, I feel like you should be more punctual and, and be more structured. But I don't know. I don't know. It all depends. It all depends, but, but yeah, I try to stick to my, my schedule and everything, but Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Overall, I tend to do pretty okay with it, though. It's usually just my Tuesday streams. <laughs> that kind of are up in the air a lot of the time. Um, I think it's because I work on Mondays and Wednesdays. <gasps> Wait! It gifted a sub to Palm? Black hats? Thank you, Black Hats. Thank you so much, Black Hats. And, and Palm, I hope you enjoyed the sub. Cutie, cutie Veppy. <laughs> Thank you. You're a cutie too, Marty. Don't have to feel guilty. You should not. But at some point when you're selling it, it feels, it feels disrespectful to the community almost sometimes. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Especially if it's something like Patreon where people are subbed to like everything is locked behind a sub or not everything but most things tend to be locked behind a sub then you kind of owe people i would say but yeah like twitch is free content but i don't know i, I guess it depends i guess it depends And the use general, not you. Oh. Wait, so I'm not cute? No. Oh. Well, okay then. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, let us go go find someone to raid though. Maybe. We'll see who we can find to raid. But yeah, I will be back on Friday though. And you can you can help decide whether we're gonna be playing um Elden Ring, or if we're gonna be playing more of this. 
I guess it also depends on on how I feel that day. If I'm not feeling very energetic, I guess. I guess we will stick to this, but we'll see. I will have, you know, I tend to ping people like a couple of hours before stream in the Discord. So I can just ask you guys then what you want what you want uh, me to stream and you can you can have a, a short little vote uh, for it i don't think he's here but you saw earlier he wasn't subbed and it's been a while since you've been able to gift all oh. well i'm sure he will appreciate that take care of yourself thank you i will You're confused. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> no. Oh no. Yeah, people love quoting me out of context. Five more- wait, that's true! Yeah, we have five more subs and then we're gonna do the Ronnie cosplay. We're gonna do the Ronnie cosplay because we are currently playing Elden Ring as well on stream. And we are pretty close to, you know, finishing Ronnie's questline. So I was hoping we could combine the cosplay with uh, finishing her questline because that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Those quotes are wild. <sighs> yeah, it's just sometimes you say something by mistake. So that comes from a game where I said it was supposed to be hot hawk. And that's what I said. I didn't say... <sighs> well... I said the, the, the wrong thing, but then the quote is saying the, the thing that I said wrong instead of me trying to... Well, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, anyway, I'm... <laughs> we'll never have cinnamon... Oh no, oh no, that is kind of sad. How many more subs for a wheel spin? Well, we, we, we're doing wheel spin uh, on the streams that I do play Elden Ring, not outside of it. So it gets reset every 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 week. When you quote it, yeah. Yeah. It's 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 not always great. It's not always great. But yeah, we we're doing wheel spin on the the streams themselves. So for those you who don't know, when I play Elden Ring, I do play uh, with some extra stuff added to it where I do a weapon wheel spin where for every fifth sub and 1500 bits, I will spin the wheel and it will choose one out of 160 weapons. Now, not a 159, but 160 weapons um, that I'm going to be using for 20 minutes. Some, uh, I tend to use it longer though. There's, there's a mosquito in here. So yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun so far. It has been a lot of fun, and we are a little over halfway, I would say, in the game. And then we're gonna move over to the DLC. And also, guys, I forgot to tell you, but yesterday was it yesterday? Or was it the day before? Chris, aka Krauss, gifted me Shadow of the Earth Tree. He gifted me the DLC. <laughs> Uh, he's so kind. So that's now we have the DLC ready as well. We have the DLC ready. Um, but yeah, let's see who we can. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I kind of. Um, holy crap! Damn. Um, 
I'm looking for someone to raid, but then I was like, uh, I don't know. Should we just skip the raid today? I kind of want to skip the raid today. Is that okay? Is that okay? I try not to, for the most part, but... But yeah. I think, I think we're gonna skip. Can't wait to see play Elden Ring. Well, that might happen on Friday. I tend to, to stream that two to three times a week. Uh, and we're playing on New Game Plus as well. Uh, we are... Where did we go? Oh, uh, we stopped near... Well, after Morgoth. But we also did some... Volcano Manor stuff as well. So, a little over halfway. Alexander? In the lava? Oh yeah, that's where we're headed. We're headed for Alexander in the lava. That's true, that's true. Thank you for reminding me. Orion remembers everything that I don't. <laughs> Thank you for stream. Rest as much as you can. Make sure you get enough sleep for work. Thank you. I'm not going to be working until Monday, though, so that's good. But thank you. I appreciate that. You keep notes. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you all. Thank you for, for the follows and the, the bits and the subs, the resubs and gifted subs. I appreciate you all. You're very kind. You're the best. Take good care of yourselves. And I'm going to do the same. Make sure you hydrate, and I'll see you on Friday, okay? 